So say, look, there's a 5% chance if you don't buy today, you're not gonna come back. You know this, I know this, everybody knows this. So the reality is, is I'm trying to give you an incentive to do it now. Because I know if you don't do it today, you're not gonna come back. So that's the first reason I do that. What's up guys, Terrence Chister here teaching you how to build profitable online businesses. Now, today's video is all about price drops. I had a question, I don't remember if it was in my group or Facebook or wherever, but essentially someone said, you know, how do you handle price drops? What do you do to really make someone make a decision and buy right then? So here's the stats, and I don't know if this is accurate, but I will probably say this. I would say there's a 95 to five ratio on how many people come back after a call. So about five people will come back after the initial sales call, knowing the price and pay. Why? Because there really should be zero reason why they can't put money down on that initial sales call, especially if you frame it properly. So I have other trainings you can go through in my, um, I think the playlist section will be sales, but you can go through and go through that. But by the time they get to the price drop, I've pre-framed so hard that they should be ready to go. So here's how this works really simply is 5% of the time they come back. So what I do is I bank everything on closing them right then. Okay. And you can do this in a non pushy way. So here's what I start with. First thing you're going to want to do is give them two options. Okay. And I don't mean two options as in two different programs. I want to give them two options in pricing. Okay, sell so one program, but two different options on pricing. So here's what I like to do. And I'll kind of just walk you through one of my price drops for business coaching. Now I'm gonna use random numbers because I just don't want people to know exactly what I charge. Like it varies for a person. So I'm gonna use random numbers. Let's just say though, I sell a business coaching program for 25 grand. Okay, for the sake of this. So what I'll do is I'll say, awesome. So the way the program works is it's three months or six months or whatever, right? And I say it's typically 25 grand. And then I pause just slightly. I'm just like, it's 25 grand, cool. Let that register in their head. Then what I say is, but as long as you could put down at least a minimum deposit, I'll drop it to 18 or whatever it is, right? That's a pretty big drop. But I tell them I'll drop it. Now, why do I do that? Because here's the reality. Most people, if you just say, hey, it's 25 grand, what do you think? If there's no urgency to sign up that second, they're not going to, because why? Why would they pay now when they can pay later? And they'll pay the same amount, right? So what I do is I'll say, look, as long as you put down a minimum deposit, we'll drop the price. And then what they're looking for is some BS sales tactic about why I do this. So I'm just straight up with them and I say, well, look, right? The first reason is I want you to make a decision. And I'll just tell them exactly what I said to you today. The thing is with sales guys that some people think you have to not tell the truth. It's actually the easiest thing in the world to just be super transparent. So I say, look, there's a 5% chance if you don't buy today, you're not gonna come back. You know this, I know this, everybody knows this. So the reality is, is I'm trying to give you an incentive to do it now. Because I know if you don't do it today, you're not gonna come back. So that's the first reason I do that, right? Most people will say it's a fast action discount or they'll say something stupid, like they only have two spots left in the program, and that, that just loses trust, because now they know you're lying, right? So I don't lie, I just tell them the truth. And then I say the second thing, is I spend 200 to $250,000 on ads a month. So I want that back as fast as I can, right? And think about it, if I'm spending that much a day for us to stay profitable and make money, I need this back as fast as possible. So that's what we do. So as simple as that. And once I've given them these two reasons, for the price drop, it's all logical. They don't feel like I'm lying and they do really well, right? So now at this point, they really have to dig in and tell you if they're in or not. So the first thing I'll do is say, cool. So this is option. These are the, this is what the normal price is. This is the amount as long as you do a minimum deposit and a minimum deposit guys is for the people. What that means is for people who they don't have the money. So they're like, well, you know, Tanner, I want to do this, but I can't do the whole thing. You're like, cool. So what we do is we just do a thousand dollar minimum deposit. And what that does is it holds your spot and it holds this price, right? And then you can come back whenever you want. And that's how you get something down to show commitment because guys, anyone can say they're serious and not put anything down. What the deposit does is it shows they're serious. It's actions over words, right? So it's kind of like, Hey, show me you're serious. Are you really serious? Yes, I'm very serious. All right, show me, put it down. Oh, actually, you know, 
and then you'll start to be able to tell if they're lying or not. That's the goal, right? On a sales call, I'm not trying to guess. I wanna know exactly what they're thinking. So if they say no to that, right? Especially if like, let's say you say it's refundable. Why can't they put down a refundable deposit? Oh, I don't have $1,000. Okay, how much do you have? Oh, I don't have anything. Oh, so you got on a sales call and you don't have any money in your bank account? Yeah, that doesn't make sense, right? Be logical with people, right? So then what you'll do is you'll take that. Now, if they're, if they're ready to go and they're like, yeah, sounds good, but you know, the money and money, I go, cool. So before we talk about money, right? So never talk about money first. I say, do you want in? If they say, yeah, I want in, that sounds great, but I don't have the money. I'm like, okay, before we talk about money, do you want in, yes or no? Do you like what you heard or do you not like it? Like money aside, would you sign up? Yes or no? You need to get them to say yes. If they say no, they're not sold. But 90 something percent of the time when I ask them that, they say, yeah, I do, I wanna get in. I'm like, cool, so it's just a money thing. Right, great. So now let's talk about money because what, I, what you don't wanna do is people start talking about money way too soon because they think it's money, but really they're not sold. Once they said they want in, I'm like, cool, it's just money, great. Then the second question I will say is how much cash do you have on hand? So it's a very simple question. I go, look, the program's 18 grand. How much cash do you have on hand? Debit cards, bank, uh, bank, credit cards, whatever, loans, how much cash do you have on hand? And they're like, well, you know, Tanner, I only got five grand. Well, why is that important? Well, now you know their situation, you know if they're telling the truth and you know what you can or can't do. So here's what I would probably do. If someone, let's, I'm just pretending. If I'm selling a program for 18 grand and someone's like, hey, I got five grand. Let's say it's a six month program. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say, cool. You know what's the cool thing, man? What I can do is I can do a payment plan for you. So what I'll do is I'll do a four pay, right? Like however much you're comfortable with, right? The faster you get money up front, the safer your business is. But let's just say you did a four month payment plan. I'm like, look, we'll do a four pay. You put down 37.50 today, and then you can do the rest over four months or three months, right? And then you can make money so that you can make this payment every month. They're like, oh, that'd be great. But now you know you're getting the best deal. What most people do is they get to the price drop they never ask if they want to be in. They start talking about money the whole time and then they never ask how much money they have on hand. So they're going back and forth with this person who says they can't afford it, but they never get an actual answer on how much money they have. So people are like, well, I can't afford it. It's like, well, what do you mean? Like, how much money do you have cash on hand? Like, what's cash on hand? How much money do you have? If they won't tell you, it's like, well, look, I'm not trying to get too much of your personal business, but I'm trying to help. So it's like, I need to know if you really want in, like you said you did, right? I really want to get in. How much cash do you have on hand? And if they won't tell you, then it's like, why? It's like, why are, is there a reason you don't wanna tell me? So this is a really effective method on how to handle price drops. You need to make sure you pre-frame during the call. And obviously you run a smooth sales call. I've just done so many calls now, it's just really smooth for me. But this is something that should really help you increase your sales conversions. So give them two different prices, give them a reason to take action now, and then if they balk, make sure that you say, do you want in? If they do, and then it really is a money issue, then find out how much cash they have on hand, and then you know. And then you're not sitting there for 30 minutes talking about the same thing. I have, I hate extra long sales calls where I'm talking about the same thing over and over and over. I really don't enjoy it. So that's how it works. So that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope it makes sense. Make sure to leave your comments or questions uh, down in the comment section below. Tag a friend, share it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.